For number 16, again, we, we want to find discontinuities, and that's only going to be found in our denominator. So we have to factor our denominator. We're also going to go ahead and factor the numerator. And I, I see something that I, I, uh, I think will be really helpful, is that is I'm going to go ahead and factor out a negative 3 from both terms. And when I factor out a negative 3 from both terms, I get a negative 2 plus x which is actually equal to, if I switch these terms around, we're going to get uh, x minus 2. And why did I do that? Well, I did that because I noticed that x minus 2 is a factor in the denominator, and I didn't want to get hung up on that minus sign up there because uh, 2 minus x is not the same as x minus 2. So if I factor out the negative 3, I'm able to, to make sure that that factor, that x minus 2 factor, is the same as the one in the denominator. So again, our domain we get before we do any canceling. The domain is all real numbers except for, you may already see that, except for 3 and except for 2 because 3 and 2 make the denominator equal to 0. The discontinuities would be uh, x equals 3 and then x equals 2. But notice that we're going to be canceling that factor of x minus 2. And if we cancel the factor of x minus 2, the discontinuity of x equals 2, we call it a removable discontinuity. And then the, the discontinuity of x equals 3 is a non-removable discontinuity. And we have our, our, our reduced version. So what are we left with in the numerator? Negative 3. And the denominator, we're left with x minus 3. Now, if we let y equals 0 to find the x-intercept, uh, this function here this expression can never be equal to 0. So this is something that really sock away, because you use this in Algebra 2 and uh, pre-calc, as well as all other levels. When a fraction has a value of 0, so this equation right here, uh, negative 3 over x minus 3 equals 0. This is when we're finding our x-intercept. A fraction can only be equal to 0 when the numerator is equal to 0. Because if you multiplied both sides by x minus 3, you'd get negative 3 equals 0. So the numerator can never be equal to 0. And so the fraction can never be equal to 0. So the, uh, there is no x-intercept, so we write none. And the y-intercept, on the other hand, is when we let x equals 0. And when we let x equals 0, we get y equals negative 3 over negative 3, which is 1. So we have 0, 1, which is our y-intercept. And that's it.